one, two, three. What's going on, everybody? We're back doing what we do best. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I got in store today. So we're back in the garage. It's a beautiful Sunday morning, at least in this video. And uh, I have a little bit of a surprise here. So I have a customer who brought me this beautiful 72 C10. Um, I uh, uploaded a little bit of a video on my social media and he wants us to do a full short bed. So we kind of already got ahead of ourselves and started taking off some of the stuff. So it's not, it's not, you know, uh, it's not a, from the beginning, but I have shown, I do have videos of where you can break uh, the bed down on these uh, C10, C20s. Um, it's not that hard. Um, oh, it, it is a little hard of you if, if, uh, if you're just doing it by yourself, but when you got a partner, you guys can definitely make it happen. A lot of rusty bolts. So I'm gonna show what you guys should use to, uh, to break down the bolts, but it's a beautiful truck. And uh, it's just, it was, it's running. Um, it's an automatic, uh, beautiful truck. So yeah, the owner just wants a little bit of a short bed. And then uh, he's gonna, you know, drop it a little bit, run some wheels. Uh, I believe he uh, he just wants it as a little shop truck. So I love it. I love seeing it. So let's get let's get going. We got most of it uh, off, and uh, we just got a heat. And I'm gonna show you guys what uh, we've been using to take these apart. It still sucks, uh, but the heat definitely does help a lot uh, to zap it off. But yeah, man, this patina is beautiful. You can tell like when it rained. Of what do you call it? I guess the precipitation is that what it's called? But anyways, but yeah. So this one, uh, these bolts are kind of hard to take off too. But as long as you have one of those uh, drill, uh, drill or uh, like the Phillips bits, and uh, either a gun or just like a half inch drive, you can take those off. It'll it'll work. So now we're just gonna um, move it over to that side. That side should come off right now. So All right. there you go. You got space? Yeah. Got it. So yeah, he's uh, doing a little bit of work over there, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I how we use this. This is actually the one that we've been using for these rusty ass bolts, and it gets extremely hot. It'll get it like red hot, and I'll show I'll show how, how that works. But uh, yeah, and then obviously my frame is still here, guys. My frame is still here. Uh, waiting for the parts. A PB Fab says about three to four weeks. They're made to order, so that's what that is. Was that? Yeah. On Friday? Oh no, we were at no. You came, yeah. We said, yeah. You're right. Alrighty, so we're hit the cat. Alrighty, so we got it pretty much taken apart now. Um, that uh, definitely taking beds apart is uh, it's one of the least uh, favorite things to do. But now is all about just shortening everything and. Uh, Got the floor in here now, ready to go. Got the homie, got the homie though. You guys know this guy? Say what's up to the YouTubes. Tell him what's cracking lacking. There we go. Then the homie Jay. But yeah, we pretty much got it ready to go. Like I said, beautiful patina. Uh, everything's kind of taken apart. Um, and we're gonna take it from there. We're continuing with the project. Um, I think the last of the clip was where we took it all apart or I started to cut it. So the bed sides and floor, the bed is done. We're done with that part. And like I said, I've done plenty of that. I've done plenty of those cutting videos. So I didn't have to show it here or I didn't want to show it on here. You know, there's no need. You know, you guys can go see those videos. They're all the same. Um, and then I'm actually heading right now to my buddy's house where we took the truck where we're actually going to shorten the frame in the next, uh, few clips you guys are gonna see how you uh, you do it with the cab on I know some people saw my last video of me doing a 67 72 but it was completely just a roller rolling chassis so I'm gonna show the other side and what happens and how do you have to go about it when you have a full cap so let's go so pretty much all kind of done here 
the brake line has been uh, unattached and my buddy already went and uh, did the uh, he already put in that bracket in there come on see this is good focus get focus all right so it's in there it's pretty much ready for us to cut it and this is how you do it when you have the cab on it's a little scarier but uh it can be done um and then over here same situation you need jacks and uh he put it downhill to give us a little more momentum on the on on when we butt it back together but it's beautiful you guys can see it's right there and then we'll get to it Doing a quick a little showing. We pretty much topped it. Now we just got to get the 12 from underneath. But uh, once we slice the 12, you can slide it back in with the C channels, and everything should kind of line up pretty good. You tighten it, you weld it, and then you work on the rest. Um, as you guys can see underneath, you, you will need a few jack stands just for your own protection. And. Uh, and stabilizing the the cab because it'll want to go forward. Um, but yeah, here we go. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, after. The so far, here we go. We're gonna see about taking this uh, inner channel frame stiffener to a metal shop. See if they can just cut us a kind of a duplicate of this because uh, we're kind of getting tired of buying kits because they're expensive. For this uh, and we've done this kind of enough where we kind of know what we're doing a little bit now so we just need this and this is the hard part to get but uh, oh yeah let me see if I can help you out here there we go a little bit forward oh it's not working anyone wondering we came to what's it called Jay? Uh, industrial metal supply yeah industrial metal supply here in the city of Riverside but it's closed it's uh, today's Saturday. It's around one o'clock, so it's closed. Um, we're gonna try to find another one. Yeah, because if we solve this inner C channel, it's over. The game's over. Yes. Fuck. I think they're all closed. Are they? Yeah. Everything that should look on the list. Yeah. This is like everything that's right here. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything looks closed. Damn. We're here at the cab bolt area. Um, if you buy the long shot fabrication kit, um, it's actually one of the cheaper ones and probably the cheapest one. Um, the instructions are super clear, very clear on how to do it. So now we're just working on these down here, tightening these bad boys so we can slip it in, right? Slide it in. Everything is put back together, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like before you go ahead and weld. So down here, Justin's over there getting it in, getting it in. But that's what it looks like right before you guys weld. Um, that little bevel piece right there is pretty good because when you go ahead, you can see it's a little th little thicker here, but you, you want some you want some space in between there. So when you go in and weld it in, 
it fills it in really really nice and uh, and that's it you're, uh, you're you're ready to go and uh, that thing won't go anywhere from there so you, you know you can leave these in and then on the inside there's an X where you can just do like a it's like a like you I think you guys can see the little hole right there on the opposite side you can go in there and weld it in if, if you need so that C channel is permanent in there it's not it's not it'll never go anywhere if it's welded correctly so we got the mounts ready to go and uh, we're gonna clamp the exhaust and a couple little things and we're gonna button it up back here I still need to take the the eight and then we're pretty much it huh taking it back and putting the bed together but this is fun we like to do on a on our off time when we're not working you know hey don't blame him he's in the aerospace engine he's an aerospace engineer the airplanes having a little malfunction in the air the door's not working I do airbus, not he, yeah he does airbus not boeing <laughs> oh so here you go good stuff and then 73 back there man we just we've been we've been hot caking that one We've been letting that thing marinate. We're finally bringing it home. We're at the finale. Just putting this thing all together. Um, in the last couple clips, you guys saw us putting the, the frame back. But uh, now it's time to, like I said, bring it home, Jay. Yes. Just bring it home, Jay. We're, we're here. Uh, now that's the fun part. It's figuring out where all the bolts go. Done this a uh, few times and I still get confused, but we're gonna figure it out. Here we go. I think, man, this is cool. We're gonna do a little walk around once it's done, and then show you guys how it looks like. Man, this patina is beautiful. Man, this is putting these fucking beds back together. They suck. <laughs> and that's that I did it correctly. Imagine the guys that like just start hacking. I'm not talking crap, but if you don't do this right, you're going in the you're gonna be a nightmare. Well, here we go, here we go, bringing it home. Boom. <clears throat> this one, don't ask us about this, but yeah, look at that. Boom, boom. just finished the, the truck, it's uh. Right now it's a little, y'all can keep talking bro, it's all good. <laughs> it's a little dark so I can't do a little walk around but we just did a little shot to celebrate. We did a little bit of uh, Blanton's. You know what I'm saying? A little shot over here. Got the homies pulled up. Here's everybody. Go Jay, let's go baby. Oh, get another one. He, don't threaten him with a good time. But yeah, we chilling. So tomorrow, I guess, on the next couple clips, I'll do a little walk around on what the, what the truck looks like. It's, it was a good, it was a good truck, and just the short bed looks amazing on it. So uh, the patina, that's what I mean. It just looks great with the patina and everything. So let's get a little beers going. Yeah, last night was kind of fun. We stayed up kind of late. Had a one, two beers and one two three four five six i don't even know i lost count how many beers i had but good time it's a good time but here we go so let's walk to the truck so here it is this is uh completely shortened now and uh it was fun this was a fun project you know it was uh beautiful the patina is just so it just looks great, you know, and I'm kind of jealous. This is in my personal truck. Here you guys go. This is a scar. You know. Came out really straight and, and awesome. I love this tailgate, by the way. This is the rear. Now we're going to come over here. And then that scar right here. Then once it uh, starts rusting out it you won't even be able to tell but from this perspective it just looks like the one the one in the back so
So a little more of a walk around. I will say though, this truck definitely needs a lot. All the bushings replaced, all the mounts <coughs> replaced. Just gotta walk around over here. This is this side now. All in all. Beautiful truck. So, like I said, we are doing this for customers, and uh, just let me know. Let me know. I'm in uh, the SoCal Riverside area. Um, something like this, we again drive in, drive out. We do your drive shaft, the lines all lines everything gets done and it gets put back to stock um the bed floor as you get this is what i mean when i say you got to cut things correctly because it should all fit all those the holes there shouldn't be any empty holes as you guys can see here new, brand new hardware but also i know people back here they'll just cut straight they'll just cut straight and then they have issues mounting these these um, holes back up where the stake pocket goes so same over here <clears throat> as you guys can see let me see everything goes back to its original spot back here everything goes back and it's like it never like if it was never a long bed. And then the scar on this side. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So shout out to everyone who's uh, following me on Instagram. I, I really appreciate all the all the love, all the support continue to click like subscribe i do have <clears throat> one of my uh customers who now turned into i guess turning into a friend uh let me borrow rotisserie so i will be rotisserieing my frame i've just been busy with that and you know sometimes you you gotta you know focus on making making some money making some ends uh so you can get to the fun stuff, right? So, but yeah, here we are. Um, I do have the uh, transmission in the front um, core support, and uh, we should be ready to go. Sorry, I'm like a little, I'm a little tired right now, to say the least. But uh, grit time. So, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for, again for all the support. Click like, subscribe, comment, uh, and let's get it going. Let's get it going. I usually don't say anything about. Let's get to a certain mark, but. I'm at like a little over 700 and man, maybe a thousand is, is realistic. I never thought that I'd get to a thousand or this close, right? So I appreciate everyone. Let's get to a thousand. I guess I'm going to say that and uh, we'll go from there. Appreciate you guys.